Kathy. Oh, Eddie. Eddie. The first Eddie. sidekick. First sidekick. No, she was it because you wouldn't one. you wouldn't do the video with me. She she did it. The first male sidekick. Okay, the first, first male, male sidekick. sidekick. We can agree to that. Yes. Anyway, we are here today with our Truth Be Told Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Question: What the heck did it just I don't do? Know. <laughs> it like went woo. We didn't do that. Anyway, so I, we're all together today. So if you hear background noise, we are at a craft retreat. Our Relay for Life team with our newest member. It's me. Once she rides a goat and lassoes a llama. Yep, that's my hazing to get hazing. in. Hazing. Yep. Or um, slap a bull. Or slap a bull, yeah. How about just eat bull testicles? We need to do that Rocky sometime. Rocky Mountain Oysters? Yeah, we need to do that we sometime. We have to do that sometime. We'll do it a, a kicking it in the kitchen to cook them. And then we'll have to eat them. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. And speaking of cooking, we're working on a whole bunch of new menus. Instead of going out to buy stuff, we're working on recipes and menus that we've been watching and looking at. Sorry, half my face. So, <laughs> say squishy. Anyways, <laughs> so, yeah. so we've been working on new recipes and menus for them to try and uh, give us time and just keep watching and you'll see them. And sooner or later, I will finish the vacation from a year ago. I promise. I started, I started trying to work on it today, but eh, didn't want to do it. <laughs> anyway, so with our week number eight, I believe, of the year, oh. what day is it? Eight. February 20th. Okay. Is that what day it's supposed to be? That's Tuesday. Yep. Yeah, it's Tuesday. Okay. If you're watching, it's the 20th. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming, I'm counting. Yeah. Yep. Anyway, so we're here with Truth Be Told Tuesday. Um, last week, I asked, what was your most memorable Valentine's? Now, neither of these two were here, so I think they should tell us their answer. Oh. While I'm also going to be post or showing you, you guys know how I do it if you've watched what our friends have said. There were some, you know, you can think, but there was one poor, I say it's a poor friend, but maybe it was a good thing. Her husband told her he wanted a divorce on Valentine's Day, so I thought that was definitely memorable yeah another person got married on valentine's day Aww. and another one got proposed to on valentine's Aww. day so there's some good ones oh and our other friend this one cracked me up i don't know if you read the comments yet she she said she got flowers delivered to her at work that said from your secret admirer nobody ever <laughs> she's like i didn't have a romantic interest at the time and nobody's still come forward she's like eight years later i don't know if no. it was Sweet or creepy? <laughs> I'm thinking creepy. I'm thinking creepy. <coughs> wow. Anyway, so do you have a most memorable Kim? So, my birthday is the day before Valentine's. So yes. Every Valentine's is memorable. I oh. have nothing sticks out because it's like my birthday is like two big days in one. Okay. But don't you just get one present instead nope, of two? Nope. Absolutely not. They spoil oh, me really? rotten. Do they? <laughs> yep. Two days out of 365, I just get spoiled rotten. That's good. Okay. Yeah. Do you have a most memorable, Eddie? Other than the one I shared, which was... The carrot cake? Yeah. I, that was my story last week. Oh, okay. He bought me my favorite cake. Aww. I don't know. I mean... He doesn't let me do stuff for him. He doesn't mm -hmm. like... He'll do stuff for me, and I'm like, no, no, don't. But I can't really do stuff for him. I could, but he doesn't want it, so... He did send me flowers to work, and I worked at, at, the, at the hospital one time. Sweet. And uh, there are roses. Um, I don't remember what else. I don't know, because I don't do anything for you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, That's so fun. that means they're all just wonderful. Yes. Okay, so you saw all of our friends that shared. Thank you, everybody, for commenting and sharing <coughs> your stories. I absolutely love that. And so, of course, we have a question, and I said, Eddie, come up with a question for today. And Kim and I were talking about it back and forth here during the whole day, and um, we came up with the, if you can go back in time and tell yourself one thing, one thing, what would it be? Like, I, I don't know. One thing, tell yourself <laughs> Quit overthinking thing, it, Kathy. Exactly. Yeah. Tell yourself one thing, and that's it. Okay, do you know your answer? Or you want to go first? I don't care. Go first? Okay. My one thing is I would go back probably like in when I started high school. You know, when you're a teen 
have way more confidence because I was really uh -oh. shy and now I am so outgoing it's unbelievable so that's the one thing I would just have more confidence and I I think I would have done better in school like you have to give those speeches you know in front of the class you know I wish I would have done that because I love it now <laughs> did you but didn't you have to or did you just no we didn't have a choice yeah, we had, yeah, oh we but you were like to. a nervous and like, like, oh. yeah and just like I was know. making friends more I didn't have friends I've oh, now I've got plenty of friends all of you and us and us that's a good one yes that's mine that's a good advice. Thank you. <coughs> Eduardo? Um, well, I've got, I've got quite a few of them popped up, and I'm just trying to think which one would be more important. I think the one would be where I would just tell myself to always follow my gut feel, no matter how wrong or how right it's going to be, just go with it because. I would have to say 90% of the time, it would turns out to be the woulda, shoulda, coulda, and the other 10% was, I'm glad I did it, but then again, I still would have done it though, because it's, it's a learning experience. So always, you know, when you get that good feeling and, and you're really contemplating whether it is, should I do it, just do it. You know, unless it's something terrible that it's going to alter somebody else's life in a big way then no don't do it yeah okay that's a good one okay i don't know what to say there's so many things that i would want to tell my younger self that i beat myself up on silly. this isn't silly but i would probably tell myself you matter yeah. which is because kind of the whole self-confidence thing and that I was enough because I was always trying to be the perfect student, the perfect daughter, and I wasn't always, so then it was that much harder. And just that regardless of what other people's opinion of me was or what mean things they said to me, they don't matter. I matter. And to just, so kind of, yeah, confidence, but just, yeah, not, not put so much... What's the word? I don't know. I can't think of the word I'm trying to say, but not let other people have power how I feel about myself. Don't let others convince you of what, how you should feel about yourself. Instead. Yeah, because of the way they treat you or something. So. Those are good. That was a hard one. But that was a good one. See, when you have to think and, yeah, I yeah. like that. Yeah. I was going to just cop out and say, you know, use sunscreen and moisturizer. Oh, Lord. <laughs> hey, we never do that either. Right. We're not all these extra crow's feet. <laughs> we? How about all of you? We need to hear from you. That's right. Yeah. And where are we going to hear from them at? How are they going to tell us? You're going to comment in the comment section. If you're watching us on your TV and you can't comment, hop on over to our Facebook page or Snapchat or my Instagram. You know how to find all of us. Oh, yeah. I'm popping it up right now. If you want to follow us. And, um, what? Oh, I don't know what Eddie was that was about. But. <laughs> I'm pointing down at yeah. the website to Snapchat. Yeah. Oh, well, no, they'll be like going, whoop, whoop, here's Kim's yeah, face. Yeah, but you still, whoop, you know, but you, when you still show, you know, yeah. the websites and all that, it's down below. And the screen, so. You guys know how to get to us. You know. <laughs> you, you've done it before. She's so. too complicated sometimes. I overcomplicate oh, everything. It's one of my oh, very, very many much. talents. Yeah. Okay, so, and also, please, we've been keeping track of suggested questions for Truth yes. Be Told Tuesday, so we do plan on using them. And yeah, we're always open. And hopefully, next time, it won't, it'll be a, a group of us again. Yeah. At least two of us, yeah. so. Yeah. Okay, that's all for now, friends. Unless you have anything else. Right, here at 9 o'clock, 9.30. And that's our signal. That's right. oh. It's all leftovers. It's the stuff we have. So. You know, we've eaten so much today, but there's still leftovers. They're making us eat. Does she not know who we are and that we're filming? Oh, clearly not. I know she knows who I am. Whoa! <laughs> it like doesn't want you, Eddie. When you put half your head out, it it didn't. The box didn't move. The camera's smart, yeah. and it said, "Hey, we want these beautiful ladies." So <laughs> that was hey guys, too weird. If hey, nobody told you, happy. You matter. Don't ever forget it, and you know it. No matter what age you are, you matter. Don't let anybody else convince you otherwise. So. 
see you next week. Bye, friends. And probably before then. But okay, bye, friends. Stop filming. Stop. Stop. Stop filming. Uh, no, you gotta hit the button. Stop. Stop. Pickles. Cheese. This one. No, the stop. The one in the middle.